All right. Women entrepreneurs, this is Jean Malo Davis, your wealth creator. And I am so, so excited to be here. Honey, I got me a little coffee right now. Uh, it is around about, what, 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, but we're happy to have you wherever you may be. You know, we're here in, I would say we're in Mapleton, Georgia. Okay, that's where we are. Not too far from Atlanta. And uh, today I'm going to be talking about the six steps to goal setting. I think any business owner, anybody that's striving to build, any serial entrepreneur, anybody that has big dreams, big goals, they understand the importance to making sure that they write their goals down. And we're going to talk about the six steps to goal setting. I learned this years ago. I always use this. I always focus on it because, hey, if you don't know where you're going, any road will take you there. So you want to make sure that you have your goals in front of you because there's going to be things that's going to happen to challenge you on your dreams, on your goals. Sometimes you're going to feel like, man, is it ever going to happen? I'm busting my behind. When is it going to happen? You know, and then if you're, you're rubbernecking, looking at everybody else, man, you will get knocked out the game because when it's your time, it will happen. That's one thing I want you to know. It will happen as long as you don't give up, you don't stop believing, you have the faith and the work and you're executing it. And guess what? If you need help, get a coach, get a mentor that can help you. We're going to talk about that. We're going to get started in about, let's say, one more minute. So you got time right now to grab pencil and paper. I got my little favorite mug, you know, my Betty Boop, Boop, Boop. Mm -hmm. oh. So go grab pen and paper so you can take notes. And I'm going to go through this really quick because I don't like to waste time. I like to make time. And I want to make sure that you get the information you need that, you know, something really quick. You can go back and watch it real quick and say, man, that was straight to the point. And you can write it down and put it before you. So are you ready to get started? Are you ready? Wealthy women, women enterprises, you're ready? All right, let's do this. So again, my name is Jean Malo Davis. I am a wealth creator. You're a wealth creator too. I would like to say I am a, a coach, a mentor, an author. My book is right behind me. I'll tell you about that in a little bit. Uh, I am an ex-IRS auditor with over 20 years tax and financial experience. I rebranded myself about a year ago as Jean Malo Davis, the wealth creator, because our goal is to help people to get out of debt, create wealth, you know, lower their taxes and build generational wealth. You know, it's also about having total prosperity in every area of your life, mentally, spiritually, physically, financially, emotionally, as well as relationship-wise. So I am a wealth creator. We have uh, multiple businesses. We have our tax and financial business uh, that basically now is more so with helping to eradicate tax debt. Uh, this is the last year that we're personally doing taxes. Sorry about that, but not sorry. Uh, we're more so helping to make sure the business is set up right, making sure the business know how to be audit proof, making sure the business or if individual, if you owe the IRS over 10K or more, we help settle tax debt. Okay, we have our level up coaching platform. I am a coach and a mentor, the Luck Firm LLC, where we help you to grow your business, grow your brand, market your business, you name it. I always show people how I made six figures in four months, did it again in three months, rebranded myself, and building multiple streams of income. We do on uh, we do online workshops, seminars. We do offline workshops, seminars. We build courses that earn six figures, guys. And now we're pushing that thing to seven figures. So enough about me. Enough about me. One of the things that I was taught a while back when it came to business or anything for that matter is about setting goals and, and and most people will say do setting goals really work and I will say yes it does because if you don't know where you're going I said again any road will take you there and it's always good to set new goals every month 
It's always good at the end of the month to have something what we call month in. Most business owners know about that, but it's not just about accounting. It's not just about, you know, um, let me see, you know, what was our losses. That's one part of it. But also to look at your business every month and see what is working and what's not working. What's not working? What do we need to do to, you know, uh, make some minor adjustments? What's working? What do we need to do to scale up, right? So let's get into the six steps of goal setting. When it comes to writing goals, guys, number one, when it comes to the six steps of goal setting, you want to make sure, I don't know why, every time you should see. I want to make sure you can see me with no problem. Okay, hopefully you can. Okay, um, next time I go in the other office because it seems like it's always dark in here and you should see the lights that I have in this office on right now. But my husband does all that stuff. But anyway, hopefully you can see me. Hopefully we set up good. But okay, number one, write the goal down. We're talking about the six steps of goal setting. Write it down. You need to know what is your goal. How much do you want to make every day how much do you want to make weekly how much do you want to make monthly how much do you want to make yearly you got to write your goal down what is your goal for the month of may okay how many clients how many customers if you're an author how many books you want to sell you know you got to write your goals down so you can know what you need to do in order to get that goal into action to make sure that you get a game plan that's going to help you with that goal. That's a part of the six steps of goal setting. We're going to talk about that in a minute. Write the goal down. Now, I was taught to write down the, the main five goals, okay? Write your goals down, for instance, uh, and write it, I am so happy and grateful now that. So if you're saying I'm so happy and grateful now that, I'm earning over a hundred thousand dollars a month if that's your goal. I'm so happy and grateful now that I'm earning over a hundred thousand dollars a month. Let's just start right there. So I'm so happy and grateful now that I'm in perfect health and perfect condition. I'm so happy and grateful now that you know whatever whatever goals I like to when I write my goals down, I think mentally, spiritually, physically, financially, emotionally, relationship wise. I have my business goals, I have my mental goals, I have my spiritual goals. I have all those goals and I have them down so I can see it on a daily basis. I read it in the morning. When I wake up, I read it before I go to bed. It's before me all the time. Remember, out of sight, out of mind. Okay? So you want to keep your goals before you. Um, I was taught to get an index card and write those five goals down. But write it as, I'm so happy and grateful now that. Now, if you say, well, why do you write it like that? Because I believe that whatever you think about and think about, you bring it about. So I know that when you are grateful, I told my grandbaby, I said, your gratitude determines your altitude. And I just know that when you're happy, you're grateful, you're thankful, you're operating in that positive energy, you will bring things to you closer and you'll bring more positive things to you okay so write the goal down then you put a date on it now <clears throat> when I say put a date let me make sure the date is not like you know that you're gonna achieve it during this time you're not uh, a psychic and I love to hear I love what some guy said I forgot his name you're not that good you're not that good to know that okay it's gonna happen this day it's more so writing a date down to help you to be accountable so you don't drag your feet if you're saying that you want to do this by the end of August then now your game plan when you get your game plan uh, set up you're gonna have certain steps that's gonna move you to try to achieve it on August now a lot of times I'm told that if you achieve your goal then your goal was too low okay I want you to remember that if you achieved it you was thinking too low so it's time to take it up higher 10x that thing okay so write the goal down as number one 
put a date on it. When do you want to achieve this goal? It's a reason behind that is to get you running, to get you rolling and not making excuses and dragging your feet. Okay. Now I'm trying to make, okay. I guess I have to touch it over and over again to keep it in the light. I don't know what that's about. Okay. Number three, create a game plan. Okay, create a game plan. You want to make sure that you create a game plan, guys. And um, the reason for that, you got to have a plan that's going to help you to achieve the goal. If you don't have a plan to get there, how many days are I mean, how much money are you putting into your business to market? You know, what are the uh, marketing uh, things that you're using? Okay, who are you using to market your business? You know, what does your I like to call it. Um, man, I just lost the train. My train of thought with that. Um, your media ca uh, calendar. Do you have a calendar that breaks down your media? What are you gonna do? Who are you using? Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn. You name it. You have when you're going live. You know when are you doing this? When are you doing that? So you have a social media calendar. Do you have that? And are you tracking that? to determine where you're going live. Remember, let me just say this. When you're writing your game plan, you're going to need help, which is going to lead me to number four in just a second. But I want you to understand it's about being consistent. It's not that it's going to happen overnight. Trust me. So many people have went out of business because it didn't happen overnight. Because they was lied to. Remember I said when you put the date on it, you're not that good. It's not that it's going to happen overnight. The date is to hold you accountable. Some people, guys, when they that date don't happen, they quit. they like, oh, man, I knew it wasn't going to work. I knew it wasn't going to work. That's why you have to create a game plan. you got to get with someone who's going to help you so you can know how many times, what kind of ads I need to have, you know, how many times I need to do a Facebook Live, you know, where else do I need to market um, you know, uh, how many times, uh, how many hours a day do I need to be on the phone to reach out to customers or, you know, if you're not, listen, if you're not being present and nobody see you, I love how one guy say, if no one knows you, they can't flow you, you use what you already have. You're part of this group. If you're not a VIP member, become a VIP member. So you can go live every day here and not just here. That's part of the game plan. I must go live. There's something I talk called 444 plus one more. I break that down. I get that in a boot camp and I talk about four Facebook lives, four YouTubes, four e-newsletters and one paid ad. 444 plus one more. It's easy to remember. It's to get you to be consistent. That's a game plan. I need to be live every day. I need. To, I don't care. It's not about how many people are here with you live. It's the replay, baby. It's the replay. Okay? And then on top of that, when you do these lives, right, you can download the video and upload it to YouTube, upload it to a membership site that you can use that people subscribe to. That's another story. But, hey, look. That's a part of the game plan. So number one, write the go down. Number two, put a date on it. Number three, create a game plan. And number four, we talk about the six steps of goal setting. Get a mentor. Get a coach. Man, it compresses time. When you get a mentor, you get a coach, someone who has already done it, someone who already know what you're going through, what you're about to go through, someone who can give you a proven game plan to share that you need to do on a daily basis. You need a mentor. You need a coach. Okay? You need someone who has done it. Not someone who philosophizing and analyzing. No, someone who just doing research and you ask them, well, when was the last time you did that? Mm, no, you need someone who has done it. Okay, someone who's done it. I rebranded myself from just Gene Malo Davis, the ex-IRS auditor, tax and financial expert. 
I am still a tax and financial expert, but now I wanted to be go go beyond taxes. I'm beyond taxes, okay? And so I said, I am Gene Malo Davis, the wealth creator. Not only am I helping you to save on your tax dollars, I'm helping you to get out of debt. I'm helping you to create wealth. I'm helping you to build business. I'm helping you mentally, spiritually, physically, financially, emotionally. I am a wealth creator. So what I did when I rebranded myself, I made six figures. I went to a conference. I tell this story all the time. I went to a conference in Las Vegas. I was around so many powerful young people, young people in their 20s and 30s. I was in my 40s. <laughs> and the things that I learned, see, you got to be humble. Don't think you know everything because, you, you know, if somebody's out here kicking butt, you want to know, you need to make sure that you go with where they're going. You learn what they're what they have already learned. These millennials, man, it's blown my blow my mind on some of the marketing tactics that they have, the marketing strategies that they have. I went to a conference. I learned some of these strategies. I came back. I rebranded myself. I created a course online. Made six figures in four months promoting that course. Okay, talk to my coach where I paid thousands of dollars to go to a conference and in Miami, my husband and I did implemented some of the strategies that he gave made six figures with this course turned around if i thought it was a flop i made six figures again in three months i don't say that to brag or boast but i say get someone who has already done what you're looking to do and just copy what they say i love it was something that we used to say back in the day let me give me a little a little sip i know i'm running but i gotta give it to you right They used to say, show, shadow, duplicate. Show, shadow, duplicate. I'm going to show you, right, what I did. You shadow me. Watch what I'm doing. And then go duplicate it. Show, shadow, duplicate. That's something that we learned in sales a long time ago. So you need to get a coach. You need to get a mentor. Hey, listen. You are listening to this, whether you're listening live or you're watching the replay. I'm giving you a free 15 minute console, free 15 minute console to see where you are in your business. Okay. See where you want to go. Find out where you're having difficulty so we can do a few minor adjustments. Go to the luck firm. I put it in the description already. The luck firm LLC.com. The luck firm LLC.com. And luck is being spelled L U C. So T H E. The luck L U C firm. F I R M L L C.com. The luck firm LLC.com. Go there. Look at the very top in red and scroll down. You're going to see a hyperlink there in blue that said book a free 15 with Gene. Click on that. Get on my calendar. Let's get an action plan together. Remember, we're talking about the six steps. And number four is get a mentor, get a coach. That's going to help you to what? Do it with me. Compress time. Okay. Number five, write down the distractions. I tell people all the time, when you make a decision on what you're going to do, his cousin distractions show up. Distractions can be in the form of disgruntled and, uh, um, employees at the job, your coworkers coming home, dealing with stress with your family members, um, sickness, death, you know, people being born, whatever. You have to protect yourself. There's life is always happening. Life is always happening. I'm going to say it again. Life is always happening. People being born, people uh, leaving up out here, going on the next assignment. And even though it hurts so bad, we just can't fall down and just not continue. I'm telling you, the common cure to anything is staying active. Work, work, work. It will help you to heal. It will help you to get through. It will help you to build. It will help you to go to the next level is doing the work. Figure out what are your distractions. You know what it is. I'll share with you. One of my distractions. After a long day, after a long day, my husband and I, we curl up in the bed, get us a little hot tea, and we watch us a movie. Now, my husband, women, I know you go through this. 
when I look to the left, he's already asleep. He's gone. He, <laughs> I don't even think he make it through the movie, man. I don't even think he make it through the movie, but it's okay. I would watch the movie, and then, you know, a preview would come up of the next movie, and I'd be like, ooh, ooh, okay, I'm going to watch that, too. Before I know it, it's midnight. This was a bad habit I used to have. I used to have. I don't do that anymore, but I'm sharing with you, okay? I'm being vulnerable. I'm on Front Street. And before you know it, it's midnight. I'm like, ooh, because I want to get up early. I want to do, it's five things I do every morning. Uh, every morning I start my day. I'm thanking God for waking me up. So after I get myself cleaned up, I pray and meditate. I say my affirmations. After I say my affirmations or confirmations, I like to say, I work out. After I work out and clean myself up, I listen to some personal development. Okay? And then after I do that, I'm looking at the day, what we got going on, what's, who's on the schedule, who am I talking to, what consultation I got going on, am I supposed to go to the radio station, am I supposed to do this, all that stuff. So, if I go to bed late, guess what's going to happen? You're going to get up late. And then now you feel like that day you're just running, running, running to get caught up. And so that's a distraction. That's a distraction. Gene, them dang movies is a distraction. You, After a certain time, that's part of your game plan. You got to say, okay, I got to cut this off. Throw a, throw a blanket over the TV or something. Whatever you need to do. And these little devices, these little TVs in our hand, put them suckers away from you so you can go to sleep. At a certain time, you got to tell yourself, everything gets cut off. If I have to have some kind, do you know they have these machines, um, I guess they call white noise machines or whatever. My son told me about it, that you can put on different sounds and it help you to go to sleep. I'm one of these people that I need something playing in the background to help me go to sleep. A lot of times, I'm not even watching the show that's on. It's pretty much watching me. That's a distraction. I'm just sharing with you a distraction. Seeing, coming home. Dealing with issues at home and letting it take over your day. And not rising above emotions to the thinking of God. That could become a distraction. You know, dealing with trying to intervene in your children's life. They're grown. They don't want you in it anyway. You know, and you're trying to lead them and tell grown people what to do. That could become a distraction. You know, especially women, we are emotional beings. So we have to rise above emotion into the thinking of God. So basically, come on, this light here. Okay, basically, guys, we have to remember, you know, not to be so emotional, to focus on the dream, focus on the goal. So write down, we talk about number five, write down your distractions. You know what they are. I told you, eating something bad, right? That's a distraction. Did you know that? Eating something bad that you know is going to take you off your flow. You get sick, okay, your money gets sick if you haven't built up systems. You haven't built up wealth is income producing assets that allow you to live the type of lifestyle you want to live regardless of going to work. So if you haven't built up some systems that's paying you in your sleep and you're self-employed, if you get sick, your money gets sick. So you got to graduate from being self-employed to being a true business owner where you got people, you got you got different skills, talents, ability, money systems working for you that regardless when I go to sleep at night I got systems working for me that's showing my ads that people can click on it people can go and purchase the product I wake up I don't I look oh I made some sales okay that's working for me so back to number five write down your distractions so when it pop up you could be like mm-hmm See, I know this is a distraction, but you will not today. Not today. I'm not going to let that happen. I'm going to rise above emotion and I'm going to make it happen. Okay. And last but not least, everyone is tuned in to WIIFM. What's in it for me? When you achieve your goal, your goal for this month, I don't care how minuscule it is, you achieve it. I want you to think about right now, what are you going to do? How are you going to celebrate 
you know, you're going to go get that petty Matty, honey, or you're going to go on your little trip, a little whatever. I don't care what it is. Write down what's in it for me. I have some huge, huge goals. I got some goals right here that I see. Goals behind me that I look at. And I said, when I achieve these goals, I'm going to go do this. I'm going to make it happen. It encourages me. You should, every goal that you achieve, you should have a, a reward attached to it. Just like when you're in corporate America, just like, you know, you're part of a sales team or what have you, you know, you get a goal, you achieve that goal, you put it on the board, you ring the bell, you get, you look, get you a little bell. So when you achieve it, you go, you could get you a little bell in your office. So when you achieve it, you can ring that bell. And in your mind, winners create a condition in their mind to win. In your mind, you're like, I'm going to ring that bell today. I'm going to ring that bell today. Now, when you ring that bell, what are you going to do? What are you going to do to celebrate when you achieve your goal? See, listen. I know for myself, I have big, big, big goals. And there's building blocks to getting to those goals. It's not going to happen overnight. It's not. Remember, we put the date down, not because we're expert. We put it so it can pull us forward, so it can hold us accountable. I have big, big goals. And you have to celebrate every milestone. Because if you don't, when you do finally get to the destination, you'll be bitter as hell. You'll be bitter as hell because you haven't done anything to celebrate the journey. It's not a marathon, man. I mean, it's not a, what they call it, a, a sprint. It's a marathon. You, it's going to take time. I don't know when I, when I sometimes coach people and I talk to them and you can feel the energy. They're sad. They down. Gene, I ain't achieved it yet. All right, well, you're already cutting yourself up at the ankles already. I haven't achieved it yet. You got to be careful what you're saying out there, man. Putting out here in the universe. You got to be careful with that stuff. Stop saying stuff you don't want to happen. Can we put that down? Somebody write that down right there, okay? Stop saying things that I don't, mm -mm, it don't come out of my mouth. Nope, I'm not going to say it. I said, you got to stop saying negative stuff. Okay, stop that. Stop that. It is happening right now. When you make the decision to do something, it is happening. But there's a lot of things that you have to do to bring this vision into fruition. So stop talking about what it hasn't happened and continue to get with someone to help make it happen. Okay? So... What are you going to do? Don't sit up here. It's, it's, it, go watch this. Go watch this. i tell you this. Uh, go to YouTube.com and watch the magic. Somebody need to. Uh, are you writing it down? You writing it down or are you just looking at me? Write down the ma uh, What is it? The Magic of Part-Time by Jim Rohn. The Magic of Part-Time by Jim Rohn. I remember I said I listened to Personal de Development. It's a part in there that he's talking about, especially if you're on a job, you're still working a job, you're still working, maybe you're self-employed and you're trying to get it to flip into becoming a real full-time operational business, whether you dare or not. And he talks about working full-time on your job and part-time on your fortune till eventually your fortune is going to surpass your job where you have to make the awesome decision to walk away. But he says, don't miss the movie. Don't miss the play. Don't miss the event. I know a lot of people, and I'm wrapping it up good. We're on, good. We're on point today. I know a lot of people who uh, have missed some very important events in their life because they was told, you got to run, 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 run. You got to run. Woo! You can't, you can't, look, look, I'm sorry. You're going to have to miss that child's graduation. You're going to have to miss that play. You're going to have to miss this and that. And when they achieved the dream, they were bitter as hell. You hear me, ladies? They were bitter as hell. Who's going to, a graduate, graduation ain't coming back. 
High school graduation ain't coming back. College graduation ain't coming back unless they go get another degree and you go there. There's some things I learned from this multi, 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 multi millionaire who now he has become a billionaire. Okay. Mr. 10X himself. Okay. He is my coach and mentor. He has shown us how to work and play at the same thing. He at the same time, excuse me. He carries his family everywhere he go. His family is with him. He don't miss special events. He's there in his family life. He shows his family is very, very important to him. Don't miss special events. Killing yourself to achieve these goals here. I want to put that message out there. It will happen. If there's a graduation, if there's a play, if there's whatever, listen, I'm a business owner. I My calendar is based on when I want to meet someone, when I want to do a consultation, when I want to do a workshop, do a seminar. I'm not going to miss my children events, man. Time is very, pre I am a mother and a wife first. Hello. I'm a mother and a wife first. And I'm going to make sure that I attend these events. Because in our household, is God, family, then business. And I make sure that I keep it that way. Because I realize when I get out of order, there becomes chaos in my house. I can't have that chaos. I love my family. And if the 2020 through 2022, the pandemic didn't teach you anything, when you seen what was in that house, that should be important. What's right there with you? Who got your back? That should be important to you. And we should have learned a lot of lessons during this pandemic, right? Okay, so I, I said a lot right there. But number six, what's in it for you? So don't just not celebrate and not travel and not do this. I'm not talking about being a fool. Maybe you've been having your eyes on a special watch or some nice little earrings or jewelry. Like when I achieve that goal, I'm going to get that. That's why in sales... In sales, that's why they always reward their sales associate because they know that's going to make them fight even harder for the next go. And when you do that for yourself, you feel good alone. You're not so stressed out about when it's going to happen when you achieve the ultimate goal. You're excited to celebrate every milestone. That's good, ain't it? That's good. So uh, make sure you celebrate every milestone. Reward yourself. What's in it for you? When you achieve your goal at the end of the month. Okay. So I'm going to go back over again. Six steps to goal setting. Uh, write the goal down. Put a date on it. Create the game plan. Get you a coach to help you to implement the game plan. Or maybe tweak what it is that you're already doing. And see what's working, what's not working. Right. Write down the distractions. Because when you make a decision, his cousin distractions come in. to take you off your goal. Write it down so you can be aware, right? And last but not least, what's in it for you? Write it down. Reward your success. Guys, this is a journey. It is a journey to achieving your dreams, achieving your goals. Surround yourself around people who celebrate you, not people who tolerate you. I would definitely say, you know, as I said before in my last live, Look who's a part of your tribe and be with your tribe. Support your tribe and make sure there's people who really, really care about your success and you really, really care about their success. So what, uh, what we got for you? Listen, listen, I'm going to give away this book. I'm going to give away this book. This book is entitled I Am a Wealthy Woman Because I Refuse to Be Abused. I'm going to give away one book. I'm going to autograph it. I'm going to send it to you. If you can tell me what are your goals, what you need help with, and you don't have to, you don't have to put it in this um, thing here because, you know, sometimes you got to move in silence. Everybody ain't for you. Everybody's not trying to celebrate you, but you can inbox me and I'm going to put, I'm going to put your names in a little hat and I'm going to pull it out and I will message you back. And get your information. The title of this book, I Am a Wealthy Woman Because I Refuse to Be Abused. Okay? It tells the story of how I went from being married very, very young with four children and being abandoned at 28 with my four over a friend's house. 
I tell the story of what I had to do to pull myself up by my bootstraps to take care of my four precious souls. I tell the story of struggle. I tell the story of pain. I tell the story of failure. And then I tell the story of how God blessed me to be featured on Good Day Atlanta, Fox News, CBS, countless radio shows. I tell the story about how I became a featured speaker on a 100 city tour with actor Danny Glover, Jack Zufelt, Ken Rothness. I tell the story of how I became happily married to the man of my dreams. I talk about total prosperity in every area of your life. I talk about mentally, spiritually, physically, financially, emotionally, and relationship wise. This book is my love letter to every woman out there that's got big dreams, big goals, refuse to be abused, refuse to be denied, refuse to settle for less. This is a victory story. And I want you to have it. The person who inbox me, share with me what your goals are, what you need help with. Not only am I going to give you a free 15 minute consult, but I'm going to give you an autographed copy of this book. And I'm telling you right now, you're going to want to get this book for every girlfriend that you have. You know, even it's so funny. I have men that is ordering this book and giving it away to their wives. I'm telling you, it's very, very powerful indeed. So I want make sure you inbox me. I'm going to announce the winner. Let's see. Do, 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 do. How about this? I will announce the winner Monday. And I'm going to announce it right here on this page. And you're going to get this book, autographed copy. You'll be inboxed so I can get your information so I can send it to you. And also that's going to come with a free 15-minute consult. Now, listen, if you want to get the book yourself, you can go to Amazon.com, BarnesandNoble.com, ZulonPress.com, Target.com. Get a copy of this book. Matter of fact, get two. I'm telling you. It will be a great gift for you and anybody that you want to empower. And also, too, if you want to get a free 15 with me, no problem. Go to the Luck Firm LLC.com. The Luck Firm LLC.com is right up there in the description. Go there, book your free 15 with Jean. Listen, I hope you enjoy uh, the six steps to goal setting. I look forward to coming back and sharing some more important tips to help you to grow your business, grow your mind, grow your income because it's about time. May God bless you. I am Jean Milo Davis, your wealth creator and your wealth creator as well. And I want you to remember that you can have, be, do anything. God bless. I look forward to seeing you on the next live. Take care.